friends. Happy Easter weekend and welcome to the Daily Stock Report brought to you by QualityStocks.net where performance is tracked daily. I'm Kathy Rankin and for Friday, April 6th, we're bringing you the latest news from around the markets as well as the top movers to look out for today. In our headline news, stocks clawed higher again Thursday, ending a holiday-shortened week on an upbeat note and extending the winning streak on the Dow and NASDAQ to six days. Among the few news items providing a floor of modest buying support was more upbeat analyst commentary, another pullback in oil prices, and some merger and acquisition news. With regard to the latter, billionaire investor Kirk Kerkorkian's Tracinda Corporation made an offer to purchase Daimler Chrysler's Chrysler Group for $4.5 billion in cash. The market was trading sideways in a narrow range until that news hit the wires around 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Not surprising, General Motors, which has been rumored as a possible bidder, surged to session highs as shareholders questioning whether such a deal would be the right move for GM, considering its own challenges, embraced the news. Aside from autos gaining momentum, home builders were Another bright spot for the consumer discretionary sector after Ryland Group issued encouraging preliminary first quarter results. Healthcare, though, was the day's best performing sector. However, its 0.7% advance got a big lift from solid follow through buying in biotech giant Amgen. Another sector attracting buyers due in part to its defensive characteristics was consumer staples. Distillers ranked as one of the day's best performing S&P groups after Constellation Brands posted 26% jump in fourth quarter profits, which plays into Briefing.com's overweight rating on the sector. Technology was in focus after Micron Technology posted a wider than expected second quarter loss. Goldman Sachs raising its estimates on Yahoo and Research in Motion, however, helped to provide some reassurance about the influential sector's growth prospects. Even so, with economic data playing an increasingly important role of late and no report bigger than tomorrow's closely watched jobs report, given its influence on monetary policy, the market's inability to trade on the employment data until the market reopens Monday left investors cautiously optimistic heading into a three-day weekend. And now for our small cap news brought to you by Nascent Food Service. Nascent Food Service Incorporated is one of Baja, Mexico's largest food distributors, marketing and distributing over 1,400 national and proprietary brand food and non-food products to over 1,000 customers. Sao Luis Mining Incorporated announced today that the company's Extract Tech 40 ton per hour mobile pilot processing plant will be shipped from South Africa for their joint venture diamond properties in Wihina, Brazil by the third week in April. And excuse my pronunciation. The company also intends to order at least one additional 100 ton per hour plant. The new plant has the capabilities to increase the production capacity upwards of 10,000 carats per month with the addition of a second laser diamond sorter. Sao Luis Mining, previously at 45 cents a share, opens today up 40 percent at 63 cents a share. Intelligentius Incorporated announced today that it has signed an agreement with New York-based Vision Opportunity Capital Management, LLC, a fundamental research-based investment advisor specializing in private placements, to convert the entire $8 million debt position Vision manages into common stock equity. Intelligentius is one of the most dynamic and fastest growing companies in the homeland security sector. They market homeland security software to law enforcement agencies, telcos, and ISPs all over the world. Previously at $1.59 a share, Intelligentius opens today at $1.60 a share. And that's it for our newsmakers. Stay tuned right here to Quality Stocks Daily for the latest commentary on small cap to large cap and everything in between brought to you by QualityStocks.net. And make sure you don't miss the Quality Stocks Daily Newsletter, which is available each trading day through QualityStocks.net. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kathy Rankin. Have a great day, and we will see you again next week right here on The Daily Report. We've got it.